I understand you're the number one cliff diver in the world. How'd you get started in this? I started diving when I was eight years old, like at the local diving pool, and I continued on until I was probably about 17, 18, you know, competing you know, within my country in national championships. But we saw a Red Bull competition, this cliff dive on TV, and we saw some friends of ours competing. Uh, we got an invitation and we started cliff diving. So were you the daredevil in your school? I mean, what would lead you to go from <laughs> diving to high diving to cliff diving? I definitely wasn't a normal kid. <laughs> <laughs> Not always got on my BMX bike and crash it, you know, and bust up my shoulder and my knee. In a way, I was destined to do this, you know. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to jump off cliffs? Well, actually, my father told me not to jump off cliffs. <laughs> He's a university teacher and he wanted me to be in, like an academic. Can't you get a normal job, son? Why don't you get a normal job, you know? <laughs> get an education. I said, well, I have an education. I jump off cliffs. I don't know about this 63-foot jump thing. I mean, maybe 23 scared. is okay, but I don't know. We'll work our way up. I think we'll just start off low, maybe like about 10 feet over here. Just need to have a look at what you can do, if you can do some somersaults or not. And then I guess maybe we'll work up over to this level over here and a little bit higher and maybe, maybe we can go up there. What about the form? What are we looking for? When you hit, you want to be nice and tight, nice and firm so you're not going to hurt your knees or you know, spread your groin apart or anything like that. And use your arms for a bit of body control whilst in there, you know. You don't have to jump off and be all neat and tidy when you first do it, you know, you're learning. So move your hands around and then bring your hands back together before you hit the water. Be nice I heard and him tight. say something about a somersault. What do you think of that, Nikki? Somersault? I think you'd be alright. Really? I thought you'd be fine. I heard a little crack in your voice just now. Yeah, I was just like... <laughs> What's that all about? What was that about? This one isn't too scary, but I'm not going to speak too soon because Joe's about to take us a little higher. This is 10 to 15 feet. Our goal today is 60. It's a lot higher than it looks. I think uh, I'm going to camp out up here. Use your arms to control yourself in the air and lock out when you hit the water. Yep. Now that you're higher, it is more important to lock out when you hit Level, I think maybe we'll leave Nikki here, you know, just after assessing and having a look at everything, you know, you've got to feel comfortable with what you do. I'm looking at Blake and Blake's doing real good, so I think he should probably go higher. Yeah, if I'm he feels stoked. comfortable, if you want to do it. I'm comfortable, let's go. Let's, let's do go it. higher. Okay. Man. like 33 feet. I mean, that kid's just going higher and higher. Straight as a needle when he hits the water. Not me. Nope. The black can tell you that. <laughs> no, really, like, feel them. Feel right here. It's like hot. It's hot. Okay, you can take your hand off. <laughs> <laughs> now Joe's taking me to 45 feet. Going to our fifth level, 63 feet. Now this time, you're really going to notice the difference. The last part of the dive, you're going to accelerate a lot quicker. You're going to notice that the last half a second is really going to pick up. 63 feet. I'm quite confident in my double backflip gainer with a little short and curly twist. We're going to do it, man. 63 Go feet. One. Now you're starting to poop your panties, eh? <laughs> The only way down from here is jumping, baby. You gotta jump. I was 
up here like shaking about to cry and you're like, sweet, that was awesome. Joe took me down back down to the 10 foot because my form just wasn't so great. He worked on it, wasn't so great in the beginning, but really got a lot better. So I think we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit higher and I think I'm gonna muscle up to 35 feet. Okay, left foot forward. And as you jump off, once again, trying to keep your knees up, keep your balance nice and stable, and lock your legs out. I think we should take her up to the 30. Yeah, I was freaking out at, at first. I got to stop taking myself out, so I just turned around, looked at the rock behind me, and just tried to chill for a second, counted to three, and as soon as I turned around, I just went. Joe said it was one of my best jumps yet, and it was my highest also. Good job. Thank you. I saw you up there. You were a little timid at first, but yeah. you just muscled up, and you did it. I mean, you looked great. The form was good. How are you feeling? Are you it pain? didn't hurt, so I was like, it was a Sweet. good one. Sweet. We just got done jumping at the waterfall, now we're at the rock. Alright my young Blakey, today we're going to teach you how to do a summer day. Right, the difference here on the rock is we're in open terrain. This is the ocean, we don't know exactly what's down there, different kinds of fish, turtles, we don't know how deep the water is. I'm a little nervous, what about you Nikki? Okay, I look like a pussy. <laughs> it's a little too high to be doing somersaults right now because I'm an amateur. So we're going to go a little bit lower. It's a rigorous sport. She's cut. I'm bruised on the on the hip. Might have broken a femur. I'm so nervous. Oh, he's all right. He's a big boy. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. I think I need another hug. Oh, be careful. <laughs> mm -hmm. So little time, so little time. So frustrated. So little joy, so little joy. It's coming for me. So little time, so little time. Spread up and down, huh? Didn't land on your butt. We did the waterfall, did all five levels. Just jumped off uh, a rock in the middle of the ocean. You know where we're headed to next? Jumping out of helicopters, baby. Helicopters! <laughs> <laughs>